Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome once again to Kingfisher's YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe and press the bell icon for up and coming new videos. Today I'm going to show you how to spool our multipliers. Um, I'm using the Soltist 50H here. What it will take is 600 meters of 50 pound backing, braid that is, with 200 meters of 050, Kingfisher Giant Abrasion, that's 050. And obviously we're going to put on our leader. I'm going to use 25 kilo uh, Kingfisher leader to do this. Why braid is backing? Pretty much braid lasts for years. It is very strong. It is very thin so you get more, not more braid onto your reel or more capacity using a braid as a backing. So your capacity actually increases. So instead of getting 600 meters of 050 on, you will get 600 meters of backing plus another 200 meters extra of 50 on top. So your, your um, line capacity increases. Okay, and another bonus part to it is every time you top up with nylon, you're only topping up 200 meters. So at the end of the day, you're actually saving. Okay, less wastage as far as nylon goes. Guys, I'll show you how to fill it. Very quick and easy. I'm very lucky at the Kingfisher. I've got a lovely machine that we use. But if you don't have one, you can do it at home by using a piece of wood, piece of metal, where mommy or brother, sister actually holds it, pushes tension on it, and dad can wind uh, the braid onto his reel under pressure and it's very important that you put it under a lot of pressure okay so here we go what we do with the Saltist 50H you'll see there's actually a pin over here and the pin is there to hold the braid on if you do not have a pin what happens is you'll tie your figure of eight around it and then take some insulation tape and wrap that around it the insulation tape is there to allow the braid to bite into itself so it does not move on the spool. Very important. Okay, so to tie the figure of eight and of course, don't forget, top right hand side corner icon, you'll see how we tie the figure of eight there slowly. Okay, so to tie it, all I'm gonna do is a figure of eight. I'm gonna take it around once, twice, three times. Take it off, stick it through the back, forming your figure of eight. There's the figure of eight. I'm just going to slide it down like so. I'm going to put it around the pin over there and I'm pulling tight. There we go. I'm then going to take my scissors and just cut off the tag end. Cut off the tag end, set my drag so it's nice and tight. Take my bar. A wooden spatula apply some pressure and use a glove of some sort or anything that you can use to create a bit of resistance on it because it's gonna burn it's gonna get hot okay here we go and remember to zigzag it over one another especially in the beginning and the reason we zigzag it quite a bit is so that the braid goes over the other braid and actually holds it in place. Once you've got it right, make sure you cover that pin as best as you can. So you can see here, I'll just do a little bit more. We try and cover that pin so that it doesn't cut into the actual braid when it's coming off. Once that pin's hidden, we're gonna zigzag it and even it out nicely. Once we get to the end of our gator braid, 
There's several different knots you can do for it. I'm just going to do a bimini twist on my braid as well as a bimini twist on my nylon and I'm going to do a cat's paw. That I find is the strongest one for joining the two. There are several different knots you can do but I'm just going to do a bimini twist. Okay so what we do is we double our braid 21 times around. You can go more. It's, we just say 21 but you can go more than that if you want. It's up to you. Especially on the braid. Lubricate. Stick it over an area that has not got any spikes on it so it doesn't damage the braid. Once you've got it to whatever length you want your bimini twist to be, put your finger inside and you just pull it up. Okay, so. There we go. One half inch on the left, one half inch on the right, and two half inches around both parts of it. And to finish it off, we just do a reverse risotto again. Three, four, five, six times. And pull tight. Like that, cut off the tag end. Okay, so there's the bimini twist. I'm just going to open it up and show you. There's the bimini twist tied on my braid. I'm now going to do the same knot on the actual nylon. There we go. So there's your bimini twist. I'm now going to do a cat's paw. And how we do it is we lie both loops one over each other like so okay easiest way to show you and then I'm going to take the nylon and take the nylon through seven or eight times you can do more I'm just going to do it like this with a quick and easy for me one two three four five six seven you can go more it's up to you eight nine okay over there. Keep the two together and you can slide them by allowing your fingers to come together like that. Okay so all we're going to do now is just lubricate because there's going to be some friction involved. A little bit of uh, lubrication there. Then we take our fingers and slide the braid down to the nylon there we go so there's the cat's paw part of it bimini twist cat's paw bimini twist okay grab our pole once again or our stick or metal bar whatever you have remember to place the leader in the center of the reel and the reason we do that it's just so offset any vibrations that there might be. If you put it too far to the right, it's going to vibrate. Put it too far to the left, it's going to vibrate. It's like wheel alignment. So we're going to keep the knot in the center. And we just quickly go. And there's the center. And there we go. You can see there's the knots. And we're keeping it in the center. Here we go. And now we fill it up with nylon. But again, we're going to move it all the way along. Nice and evenly. and a little bit more done and there we go guys perfectly level the way we like it now i'm going to show you how to tie the leader onto it to tie the leader onto your multiplier 
I'm using 25 kilo kingfisher onto 16 kilo giant abrasion. So how we do that is we tie a bimini twist. And again, tie a bimini twist, you just double the nylon around 21 times, three, four, 21 times. Then what we do is we just lubricate it like so. Now the easiest way to do it is to stick it around something that you can hold on to. Pull the tag in down till you get to what your desired size that you want it to be. So I want to keep it quite short, so I'm going to make it short. And then I'm going to stick my finger in there and pull it all the way down. When I pull it down, I'm going to take the tag end and let it roll up. Okay, here we go. And we do a half hitch, left hand side, over there, and a half hitch on the right hand side, over there. Then we're going to do two half hitches, one, two half hitches, okay. So there we go guys, there's your bimini twist, pretty much complete. Cut off the tag in so they're all the same length. There they are there. <coughs> and now we're going to tie a figure of eight on either side. So take our three strands once twice take it through the back like so pinch it open it up to form a figure of eight there we go a little bit of lubrication and pull tight do exactly the same with the leader part once twice back through and out there we go so there's your two figure of eights lubricate the two bring them together as close as you can pull it as tight as you can there we go and cut off the tag ends once twice so there is your bimini twist complete I'm matching this reel to a 1363 MB um, it's a multiplying rod uh, it throws a six ounce sinker perfectly uh, it's ideal for sliding it's a rod that I'd recommend you look at to match to this reel here. Because it's 13.6, I'm going to use about 5 meters of leader line. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 meters. <clears throat> and I can always cut it down later on when I'm on the beach. So there is my Saltist 50H. Spool to perfection with my Saltus 13.6 <coughs> MB. Guys, all the tackle you see here is available nationwide from leading tackle stores as well as our Kingfisher branches. Go out there and enjoy, guys.